Prince William was not ceremonially invested as the Prince of Wales and might pass on the pomp when he exceeds one day. Though King Charles continued tradition by having a coronation celebration in Scotland, Prince William might not do the same. On Wednesday, the Government of Scotland honoured King Charles and Queen Camilla's May 6 crowning in London with a day of festivities in Edinburgh. The King, 74, and Queen, 75, participated in a royal procession from the Palace of Holly Roodhouse to St. Giles Cathedral for a national service of thanksgiving and dedication. Prince William and Kate Middleton also attended the event, and the pinnacle of the church service was when Charles was presented with the honours of Scotland, the country's crown jewels. The Queen Elizabeth also travelled to Scotland for a coronation celebration a few weeks after her crowning at Westminster Abbey in 1953, Prince William, 41, might not do the same. In his first speech as king following the death of Queen Elizabeth in September, Charles named William the Prince of Wales, the traditional title for the male heir apparent to the throne, and Kate became the Princess of Wales in the same sweep. However, Prince William did not to have a formal investiture to mark the honour as his father did. On July 1, 1969, Queen Elizabeth crowned 20-year-old Charles as the Prince of Wales in a coronation-like ceremony at Carnarvon Castle in Wales. The young prince was presented with royal regalia and took a meaningful oath, I, Charles, Prince of Wales, do become your liege man of life and limb and of earthly worship and faith and truth I will bear unto thee to live and die against all manner of folks. While Prince William similarly pledged his loyalty to his father the king by vowing to be his liege man of life and limb in a striking moment of the May 6 coronation service, those words of fealty might be the closest royal repeat the world sees. Though King Charles's eldest son and successor has immersed himself in the issues and concerns of the Welsh people since becoming Prince of Wales, it was stressed from the start that he had no plans for a formal investiture. Although cognizant that any change of reign is a long way away, aides confirmed to people after King Charles's crowning ceremony that Prince William will do things differently when he exceeds one day. When the time comes, royal sources said that William's coronation will reflect an ongoing mission to be relevant and modern, which likely means a second celebration will not be staged in Scotland. For now, the Prince of Wales is said by those close to him to be constantly looking at modernizing the monarchy and increasing its relevance to this century. A spokesman tells people, the prince and princess are keen to do things in their own way.